I have terrible news. I'm back. That's right. I have returned from my, what are they called, voyage beyond. Actually, I pretty much stayed at home all day, watched TV, played video games, and hey, enjoyed my Christmas. But hey, I've had a kid. That's my uh, lame excuse. Uh, my other lame excuse is that I was just lazy. And I was sad. Seasonal affective disorder. And for those of you who don't live in northern Indiana, you couldn't possibly understand seasonal affective disorder. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to talk about the WordPress blogging software in this upcoming series. WordPress is basically a piece of software that builds a website for you. And um, there's two things I got to go over with you real quick. What is a blog? Okay, it's the first thing you need to know. A blog is basically a, a pop culture name for a website. And this website does everything for you on the whole coding side. So you don't actually have to know how to build websites, but you can like publish your own content, videos, audio, music, you name it. You can post anything, publish anything you can imagine. Let's go ahead and close this. Anything you can imagine, you can publish to it. Okay, so if you look at this, this nice little screen I have opened up here, this is a dashboard. This is a, uh, a dashboard for WordPress. On the left hand side here, you have all these tools that are available to you. And I'm going to go over these during the, the lesson. But the most important one to take from this first is this is your basic dashboard. It has things like how many posts you have, how many comments you have, and it builds all this for you, just so you know. You're not going to have to build it yourself. On the left hand side, if I drop down the posts, I can select posts and it's going to show a list of all my posts that I've published and of course all the information related to those posts. Now if I go back to the left hand side and go to add new and it will allow me to add a brand new post. Now the nice thing about this is I can enter the title, I can enter the body, it's just like a normal Microsoft Word thing. Does this look intimidating to most of you? It shouldn't. It looks like just a normal word processor. When I'm done with my post I can go to the right hand side and I can preview it. So if I say this is a test post, and I say this is a test post description or body. I can go back over here to the right hand side and click preview. And what it'll do is it'll show me what the post looks like before I even publish it on the internet. So right here it says this is a test post. Here it is right there. And if I scroll down to the body, this is the test post description or body. Of course it looks weird on my theme because my theme relies on a lot more content than just one line. But this is the idea, okay? It's creating this whole web page for you. You don't actually have to code anything. And you can do this with any content you can imagine. Blogs can be used for personal journals. They can be for sharing professional information. They can be for teaching, which is what I like to use it for. They can be for uh, posting your band, you know, updating your band and things like that, people with your, your gigs. Uh, it can be for a, a wide array of things, anything you can imagine. So let me go back to the dashboard here real quick because another great feature of the WordPress is it allows you to change the appearance of it on the fly. So if I go down here to appearance on the left hand side and I drop it down, they have something called themes. Themes will allow you to just select a different theme and you can either preview it and I can see exactly what my website will look like on a completely different theme. So it actually stores the information in there so that you can shift it to different looks without having to rewrite your whole page. Now how cool is that? Now this is just some of the, a few of the, the, if I had to go over all the features here, basically it would take all day and I don't have to, I don't have all day. So what I'm going to go over with you is all of the essentials you need to know and even some more advanced techniques you need to know. And the great thing about WordPress is you don't have to know anything about web design in order to use it. So from the ground up, you can build your own blog, your own website, basically about whatever you want. You can talk about whatever you want and I'm even going to get to the point where you can, you can monetize it. You can make money on it. So there's a lot of things you can do with it, and it's, it's definitely worth the time, and I hope you guys enjoy this series. It's one I've been counting on for quite some time, um, and I, I hope you stay tuned. It's good to be back, and thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.